Welcome to this uh, gratitude and body practice. So inviting you to find a comfortable seat to start with. The following practice can be done in any posture, seated or standing or even lying down. And most of the guidance is given uh, for a standing posture, which we'll move to later in the in the practice. But if you wish to remain lying down or seated, that's fine as well. Simply adjusting um, to the guidance depending on what works for you. And also if you're using headphones, um, at times you may find that the guidance instructs you to connect with areas covered by the headphones. So please just do what works for you. You may also like at times to close your eyes and even to let go of the guidance um, if you're familiar with it to, to get a, a deeper connection with your own experience. But uh, if you're standing and if you have any balance issues then certainly keeping your eyes open or um, doing what you need to to look after yourself is the most important thing. So first of all to say a big thank you to you for being on the front line and for helping, having the intention to help, getting out there and doing something, and acknowledging that it's not perfect. The whole situation is not perfect. So receiving a sense of gratitude from myself, from other people, certainly people you've helped, and even if things haven't gone according to plan. Reflecting on your own intention and the actions that you've done that have helped people. And maybe things are challenging at work, not just the volume of work, tiredness, difficulty with safety equipment, but maybe the workplace is challenging in, in other ways too. Difficult colleagues perhaps. And even difficulties with process and procedures. And so whatever you're facing, first acknowledging a sense of appreciation from society, from management even if they don't speak it or even if they act in variance to it under their own stresses. And allowing that to be received and felt, a sense of gratitude. Thank you. And maybe today's been a particularly challenging day. And if it has, and if the mind is all over the place, and feeling agitated, doesn't want to rest and sit, then allowing some movement. Moving the body, connecting with the body. If you're able to, if you have some space or a place where you feel comfortable moving, doing some stretches and noticing where the body feels tense, where the body feels uncomfortable and bringing some attention there and some movement to assist it. So whether you wish to simply stand and do some gentle exercises. Or whether the mind is a bit more patient today, a bit more still, and able to engage in something slower. So really asking, what does the body need, what does the mind need in this moment? And if the mind is saying, this is useless or hopeless, then persevering, and seeing what does actually happen. If any of this is inappropriate for you, of course, letting go of it, stopping whenever you feel, and having complete permission to act in whatever is right for you in this moment. So inviting you to come to a standing posture. And simply feeling the body 
standing, standing, clearly conscious of standing. And feeling the weight going down. With a sense of letting go, not trying to hold on to anything. But allowing the mind and body to settle from whatever it's come from. Settle from the the day, or if you're doing this in the morning, settle from whatever was immediately before. And letting go of the future as well. Really noticing this moment, what's here now. The mind may be going into the future, coming from the past, and that's okay. Welcoming whatever arises in the mind as best as you can, and they may be disturbing thoughts, challenging thoughts. Allowing yourself to see them simply as things that arise in your mind as opposed to things that have to be argued with or dealt with in this particular moment. And so releasing the mind in this way into the present. And allowing the body to settle too. Maybe shifting your weight a little bit, moving the feet so that you stand comfortably and feeling that connection to the ground. And again, the mind may go off on particular thoughts or get distracted into sensations within the body or something completely different. And that's okay too. All of it is welcome from the perspective of this meditation. And so bringing the attention now into the body, from the soles of the feet, and that connection with the ground. And guiding the attention up through the feet themselves and the ankles. Perhaps noticing as you stand the the weight shifting slightly, simply to keep balance. And really reaching into the sensations of the feet. Perhaps noticing how sensation in one foot compares to the other. Letting go of any particular judgments about it, but simply noticing patterns of sensation. The quality of that sensation. Whether it feels warm or cool, smooth or rough. And at the connection with the sole of your feet, Noticing the pattern of that connection. Then coming further up the body and through the legs, through the knees, into the thighs, the hips and pelvis. And then up through the abdomen and lower back. With a sense of letting go. Not trying to hold on or create any particular sensation. Not trying to get rid of anything. But simply inviting a a friendly awareness to the body. The body which we rely on so much. And often take for granted. And say coming up through the abdomen, into the chest, and the upper back. And in the tummy area, in the chest and back, you may feel sensations due to breathing. And so just noticing those, if they're visible to you, If you can feel any particular sensations, just noticing them. 
staying with them, allowing the attention to rest on sensations of breathing in the tummy or chest or even the back. And if the mind wanders off again, knowing that that's okay too. And it's likely to do that. So welcoming the distractions, welcoming the various thoughts, even if they're uncomfortable or challenging thoughts. Simply the mind doing what it does. And the mind may say that these thoughts need to be addressed right now. Noticing that tension too. To engage with the thought or to think itself. And again, releasing the mind out of thinking into sensation, noticing the qualities of sensations in the chest and abdomen and back. And then inviting you on the next out-breath to let go of this area and to bring the attention and awareness into the shoulders and down the arms. And if you wish, you may wish to use your right hand to connect with the left arm, the shoulder. Just give it a a gentle massage or a connection, a friendly connection. Bringing some attention into the left arm from your right hand. Down the arm, through the elbow, into the forearm. Just noticing sensation, just staying with the various sensations and asking, what does your arm need in this moment? And then into the hand and the various fingers that do so much work for us. And then pausing with the fingertips connected, the left hand touching the right hand, the right hand touching the left. Then moving attention over into the right hand. So using the left hand to connect with the right arm, starting at the hand and moving up through the wrist, into the right forearm. And whether you wish to massage or caress or scratch or connect in some other way, Bringing again a friendly connection to the right arm, moving up through the elbow to the right upper arm, and all the way up to the right shoulder. So staying present in this moment, what other sensations? Where are they? In the right arm. And listening to the body. What does it need? And then coming up, perhaps using both hands to connect with the neck. And noticing sensations in the neck. and Where the neck meets the shoulder. And often there can be tension here. And again, bringing a, a gentle connection friendly connection, noticing if there's any resistance to these ideas of friendliness or gentleness, and respecting that resistance too, and playing with whatever works for you. Really tuning into the actual sensations themselves. And again, the mind may wander off many times throughout all of this, and that's quite natural. So welcoming the various thoughts where the mind moves away, maybe into further thinking or into sound or sensations within the body. So welcoming all of that as best as possible and then coming back to the sensations in the neck. So using the hands, if you wish, to connect to the neck very gently.
and if your neck is okay and you don't have any problems in this area, be making some gentle movements with the neck. So tipping the uh, chin, tipping the chin forward very slightly as the head starts to look down, and then rotating the neck very gently so the ear, left ear, comes towards the left shoulder. Very small movements. And then moving around so the head starts to look up and the back of the head goes backwards very slightly again. And then as the rotation continues, the right ear coming towards the right shoulder very gently. Very very small movements again, very gentle to look after your head and neck. And continuing so that the eyes again look down as the head comes forward. Only doing this if there's no problems with your head or neck. Very gentle movements. And then releasing out of those movements. And bringing attention and awareness into the face. Having a sense of your expression. And again with a sense of letting go. Releasing out of whatever is being held onto. And noticing if there's things that the mind wishes to hold on to or keeps going back to memories from the past or projections into the future, some concern or other. And noticing, being acutely aware of that and saying that's okay too. Acknowledging it and then letting go for a moment and simply coming into sensations within the face. And if the mind is going away a lot, again using the fingers and hands to connect with the face. So, touching the chin and jaw, using the fingers to massage if you wish, or connect in some friendly way. Coming up through the cheeks. Noticing the sensations as you do this. And up through the cheeks into the upper part of the cheeks and around the eyes, very gently around the eyes. And the nose. Then down over the upper lip. And whether you wish to connect with the face in a gentle capacity or in a firm way, being playful with your connection, tuning in to what your face needs and requires. And coming up, above the eyes and very gently over the eyes. So perhaps noticing how the light changes as you move across the eyes. And then up over the forehead and the eyebrows. And then inviting you to move back over the temples and the ears, noticing as you approach the ears how the sounds change. So playfully exploring connection with your face and ears, and tuning in to what your face and ears need in this moment. And then over the scalp, coming up over the forehead, or maybe simply holding your head if you wish, or connecting with the scalp in whatever way you feel is helpful, whether you wish to scratch or massage, caress or hold, or connect in some other fashion. And then when you're ready, letting go of the face and head, and simply standing, letting the arms fall down by the side. Simply standing. Feeling present. And tuning into your breath. Aware of your breath, wherever you feel it most clearly, maybe at your nose, 
or behind your throat or your chest or your abdomen. Noticing in the abdomen perhaps as the breath comes in the tummy stretches out and how it releases on the out breath. So staying with staying with this for a few moments. And spending a moment to reflect on how useful this is for you. Taking a few moments to look after your well being. And again, hearing the gratitude of many who don't have the opportunity to tell you directly. So in your own time, when you're ready, opening your eyes if you've closed them and moving as you wish. Thank you. <laughs>